Well, let's focus on uh, one of the managements who are joining us right now, Uljivan Small Finance Bank. Well, the numbers were uh, just uh, declared over the last few days. To understand what went on in the past quarter, the way ahead, we're joined by Mr. Ethira Davis, the MD and CEO at the bank. Hi, Mr. Davis. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, let's start with uh, talking about the NIMS. You know, I think uh, the term deposit repricing is largely done. And the cost of funds as well, maybe it, you know, consolidates at these levels. What's the outlook with regard to NIMS from year on? Good morning. It's uh, good to be with the morning call team once again. So, yeah, the NIMS, uh, uh, you know, last quarter, because of the slightly higher cost of funds, the NIMS dropped a little bit. But uh, what we are looking at is that, uh, you know, this perhaps is where we would like to call it at the bottom and try to push back NIMS towards the 9%. And that is what we are focusing on for the third and fourth quarter. And uh, we are hoping that uh, what we had indicated at the start of the year as a 9% NIM for the full year can be achieved. So, uh, you know, we'll be working towards that. Now, as you said, the repricing is, is of the uh, term deposits has taken place, but we still have a little bit on the uh, repricing of the microfinance loan book. So that is an important uh, part, which will take another couple of quarters. So that will see us through, uh, you know, to the end of this financial year. Having said that, we are also looking at uh, Treasury management to bring up uh, you know, a few basis points uptick. So all that put together, we are hoping that 9% is a good level to continue for the rest of the year. Okay, 9% NIMS for the rest of the year is something that you hope to continue. Uh, Mr. Davis, hi, good morning and thanks for being with us on the channel. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about your asset quality because the absolute value of your net NPAs have gone up. Is there some pressure that you're facing in terms of asset quality and what is the trajectory that we can expect uh, over the next couple of quarters? Thanks, Sonia. That's a very good question. You know, the uh, last year and the last few quarters, we have seen uh, the NPA, the uh, collections, etc. Uh, come through very well. That has slowed down a little bit because we are coming to a more normal environment. So, you know, that is going to change a little bit, which is why we have seen uh, the provisioning numbers slightly higher this, this quarter compared to last quarter, but nothing unusual because we are moving to a more normal situation. But, uh, you know, all in all, I think the loan book has grown. So to that extent, there is a slight uptick. Uh, some of the uh, areas which we are looking at, we are trying to make sure that uh, whatever is there in the book is taken care of. So overall, uh, you know, the 0.03% or three basis points that we have seen in the net NPA ratio uptick is, uh, you know, nothing uh, unusual in the current circumstances. Okay. Mr. Davis, hi, good morning. Uh, so when you say more normal, uh, should I should one read that as the best for asset quality to be behind? Or that that's not how we should look at it? No, the asset quality is continuing to improve because the uh, GNPA number has come uh, from uh, 2.4 to 2.2. PAR has also come down. So all in all, you know, those are positive. The net NPA going up a little bit is more on the... Uh, collection and the adjustments which are there. So the PAR and the GNP are numbers that we also need to look at. So based on that, we expect the credit quality and uh, credit improvements to continue. So nothing, okay. you know, uh, this is this is an upward trajectory, uh, improving okay. trajectory. Okay. No, the, uh, the SME segment is where uh, there seems to be a little bit of uh, <clears throat> issue, right? That's the, but you're also contracting that book uh, for the last many quarters now. That is true. I mean, if you look at it in terms of total assets, because the asset levels have come down, the numbers may look slightly higher. But uh, going forward, we have now, you know, like we did for the housing book, which we regrouped last year, and this year is doing fantastically well. We are trying to put that same model in place for the MSME book. Uh, we have uh, brought out a couple of new products. They've just been launched. Uh, we have a couple of new fintech partnerships, which we have entered into. And, and I believe all of these together will see a good traction in the next financial year, definitely, if not into the fourth quarter. All right, uh, Mr. Davis, I wanted to focus even on the timeline with regard to the merger. Now, you have two listed entities right now, and as you've been saying, second half of the year is when you expect it to get completed. So give us some few details. The shareholder approval will be there, I think, in the next week or so. 
What are the pending approvals? Do you require one more approval from the NCLT? And by when do you expect this merger to take place? Because as of now, that appears there's an arbitrage opportunity with regard to these listed entities. Please go ahead. Yeah, you're right. I think, uh, you know, the uh, 3rd of November is when the uh, yeah, general, yeah, extraordinary general body meeting takes place. Uh, after that, we, we'll have the results and the results will be, uh, you know, reviewed by the NCLT. Uh, hopefully, the NCLT will accept these numbers and, and this will be the end. If they need something else, then we hope to deliver that as soon as possible. But if you ask me for a timeline, uh, you know, we are, we are hopeful that this uh, reverse merger will be completed during this financial year, so that when we enter 24-25, uh, we have a different outlook and, and, and a consolidated balance sheet. Sure, okay. Uh, the reverse merger will be completed in this financial year. Just one quick question on loan growth. What is the outlook uh, for the full year in terms of loan growth? And it's been strong in all segments except the MSE segment. So just tell us a little bit about that as well. What is the expectation? Yeah, the overall loan growth, uh, we are expecting uh, around for the full year around 25%, 25, 26 thereabouts. MSME uh, is a slow starter this year. Uh, it, it is now ready to go. And I think, uh, you know, this quarter and next quarter, we'll see a slow buildup. But uh, it should be ready to take off definitely in the new financial year. 24-25. Okay. All right, Mr. Davis, thanks a lot, as always, for joining in and speaking to us this morning. Well, that's the word coming in from Ujjivan Small Finance Bank. By the way,